Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Before going in the game and in the config file, we will start with the uh, Windows setup. So we, got, we want to make sure that your Windows is set up properly. First thing that you need to search is the game mode. Right game mode, click on it. Make sure that your game mode is at off, really important. Second thing, your game bar also, make sure that the game bar is at off. And the last thing, the capture. Make sure that your background recording is at off and your recorded audio is at off. After that, you can close this. Uh, another thing, if you have 16 gig of RAM and less or less, uh, use the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Uh, the new version is the 1.0.2.1. It's a pretty good software. It will uh, purge your standby list automatically. Windows have a lot of issue with it and it uh, helped me a lot with games like Battlefield 5, The Division 2. I had a lot of stuttering and this fixed my stuttering. So really cool software. It's the guy who did DDU so it's not a bloatware and it's pretty light to run. So this software will have no impact in your performance and it will help you a lot with your standby list clean. One more thing is your driver. Make sure that you're updating your driver um if you have an nvidia card or uh, an amd card uh, they just released like a new set of driver for the game so each time uh, a big game a triple a game is releasing normally nvidia and amd uh, always like release a new driver uh, and you can gain 10 to 15 percent in your fps so really important make sure that you're putting your driver uh up to date so that's about it for the driver now let's go in side of the game so now inside of the game the first thing that you need to do is press option go to visual make sure that you uncheck everything over there motion blur film grain chromatic aberration camera shake put those one at off your game will be a lot better and it will be clearer less blurry when you will play it after that, go to video. Make sure that you're playing in full screen. Really important. I was losing 2 to 3 FPS when I was using Borderless. Uh, so, really important. Use the full screen. Uh, also, for the resolution, me, I'm using 1080p. I'm matching my monitor. Pretty much the same thing with my FPS. I'm matching the number of Hertz of my screen. So, I have a 144 Hertz screen. I'm playing at 144 FPS. I don't use VSync. And the last one is the dynamic resolution scaling. A lot of people are asking me questions about it. Uh, yes, you can gain like 2 to 3 FPS when you use that one. But it's crazy. Like your game is getting blurry randomly when you have a lot of stuff to render. Uh, they, uh, they downscale the resolution on the fly. So don't use this. After that, a lot of people is asking me a question like, Oh, I, I can just use medium graphic parameter in this game. It's really weird. Uh, you can use low if you want. So I will show you the trick. You need to switch up uh, any parameter over there because you want to have custom over there. After that, you click on it, press enter and press escape. And now, as you can see, everything is at low and off. So now we will just change some parameter uh, to make sure that we optimize our graphic setting. First of all, view distance, go with medium. View distance is taking a lot of resources, but low is pretty low. It's more like uh, some view distance with a PS4 or Xbox. You're on a PC, so you want more view distance. Uh, but for sure, if you have an integrated video card or a really old computer, put this one at, uh, at low, sorry. Shadow quality, really important. Set this one at low. You will gain 8 to 10 percent uh, in your FPS if you go high to low. So really important, this one. Anti-aliasing. Uh, you can put this one at off. It's a bit tricky in this game. Honestly, when you put the anti-aliasing at off, you see a lot of aliasing in the game, uh, but you're getting a nice boost. And I feel like the game is more clear, like uh, less blurry. So yeah, just do a test. Compare medium to off. And uh, yeah, the best the best for you. So if you don't mind about aliasing and you want to, you, to have a nice boost in your FPS, put this one at off. Texture quality, this one I'm playing at Epic. It, it's depending on your VRAM on your video card. So for me, I have 8 gig, so you can easily play Epic. So 4 gig and more go with Epic. 3 gig high, 2 gig medium, and less than 2 gig go with low. Visual effect and post-processing, post, put those one at medium. I didn't see a big difference between low and medium in this game. So for the FPS, it's pretty much the same. And you're getting a better visual effect and a better post-processing in your game. 
One more parameter that you really need to change is the share usage data. Uh, this one, make sure that you uncheck it. Uh, it's another process and you don't really need this process. So it's uh, sending information to EA on the fly in their server. Uh, so if you want to take less resources when you play the game, just uncheck this. So now let's go in the config file. So now for the config file. To find your config file, you need to go to C drive, user, the name of your computer, app data. Make sure to, to see app data, you need to see your, your hidden file in your window. So really important to see that. Local, SW game, saved, config, Windows no editor. After that, double click on it. You will see all the parameter in your game. So the one that you really need to, uh, to look at, it's your full edge quality. Don't touch anything else because you already did it in the game. Full edge quality is not in the game. So put this one at one, press save. Click X. After that, right click on the file, click properties, go to read only. Okay. So uh, why you put the, the, the file at read only? It's because if you relaunch the game, you quit your game after that you relaunch, uh, you will see that your full, full edge quality will uh, reset automatically because the parameter is not in the game. So uh, because you just um, change it manually in your config file, you want to make sure that your file is in read only. So your parameter will always be the same. So that's about it with, for the config file. If you have any questions, just post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.